What's good, guys? If you're looking for cheap, fast, reliable MT, make sure I head over my sponsor. Use code BUGS for 5% off at checkout for the most cheapest, most fastest, most quickest, reliable source on the internet right now. What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Bugs, back on another NBA 2K22 My Team video. And guys, today in this video, I'm going to show you how I made my first 100,000 MT in my team in literally, in literally about two days. All right. Um, literally two days. I just want to say this real quick. All right. I did get the $100 vision, uh, $100 version. So I did get the VC and Pop Colossal packs. All right. I got absolutely nothing in the packs besides a Steve. Co You'll never believe it. I got a Steve Kerr Amethyst coach. I, I don't even remember getting from the packs. But we got that in my collection video, guys. Before we begin this video, like it up, sub it up, comment down below. The more likes, the more subs means giveaway Friday. We'll do giveaways Friday every single week as long as we get that support. Keep coming with the support. Um, we've been grinding this game pretty hard. And honestly, I've been brought. I, honestly, I did get banned, and I started up on my another account. All right, I got banned. Started up on another account. Unlimited, guys. I'm seven and one. I've played one KD at Diamond Durant Williams. I couldn't cover him. I got smacked. I quit the game. But honestly, I'm pretty good at this game. I'm playing on next gen only, not playing current gen at all. Uh, also, guys, if you need MT, if you guys need MT, if you're inter interested in sports cards, hit me up on Instagram and Twitter. We buy and sell MT. If you guys need MT, hit me up. We're going to have a lot of MT in stock this week sometime. But yeah, I've been playing a lot. I think the rewards are not good enough. I would like the rewards to be better. But guys, I noticed one thing. If you don't have any diamonds player, right? If you don't have any diamond players, if you don't have any diamond players, you guys must use sapphires and rubies because if you don't have diamond players and you use a lot of rubies, if your overall is like higher, right? You're gonna get smacked by diamond players. It's not even fair. You can't guard diamond players. If you come across diamond players or free agent cards, you have no chance of winning. And I'm just saying that uh, because I actually lost my only game against diamond cards. I like versus Shaq and Deron Williams because I ran a lot of rubies and one amethyst. So try to run sapphire squads. If you're good with the releases, I'm good with all these guys' releases. So this is like my squad as of right now. Um, anyways, let's get into how I made 100k MT in this video. Um, honestly, I'm not going to tell you guys. All right, I'm going to tell you guys one person I've been sniping a lot. One person I've been making a lot of MT off. And it's been Giannis Antetokounmpo. I've been working the market a lot. I've gotten a ton of Giannis for 2 to 3k. And you know what? I'm honestly going to have a second video on how I've been getting Giannis for really cheap. First off, um, it's been a movie. I, I honestly have been playing this game. I've Honestly, the only thing I've been enjoying on in 2K has been 5 on 5. Online gameplay as of right now is super playable and it's super fun. I don't know what it is. Triple Threat Online is... I'm pretty trash with Triple Threat Online. Kids really cheese the Triple Threat Online. I'm like 2-2 two and two on Triple Threat Online. But I've been enjoying Unlimited. I think it's the most skilled matchmaking. Whereas of right now, next gen, defense is playable. Um... Not everybody could shoot. It's actually like an enjoyable five on five game as of right now. So I have been enjoying Unlimited. Also, um, pretty much, I'm going to show you how I made all this MT. It's going to be very simple. I'm telling you, first off, the snipe filter I've been using, I've been running Ruby bit snipes like no tomorrow. Ruby bit snipes have been the change of my MT count. No lie. I don't know what's good with it. I don't know if a lot of people don't have MT, but bit snipes in general have been absolutely, it's just been making me so much, and I mean so much MT. Bit snipes are where it's at, boys. I'm telling you. Sometimes you're not going to hit, but there's times where you can hit every single bit snipe. Not only on Ruby's end, but I've done it with the Sapphire end. And want to know what I've been sniping on the Sapphire end? I've been doing it with Giannis at the Takumbo. I got a ton of Giannis's yesterday for around two to three K. I was selling them for 7,000 MT. That shit adds up. Right now, I do have a pretty good amount of MT. Why does this one look different from all these? What's the difference? This one has a rainbow. Can someone explain this to me? What's the difference? Why does this one look different? Is this like a Gem Mint 10? Is that what a Gem Mint 10 looks like? I'm gonna put a bit on that. In 2 hours and 37 minutes, hopefully I come back and I win. Um, but yeah, you guys should most definitely pay attention to Giannis. I think he's one of the best players to snipe. Um, there's also LeBron James. I saw a kid using LeBron James Ruby. He's probably free or something. But let's see. LeBron James. All right. I saw a kid using a LeBron James Ruby. He was pretty OP. Keep your eyes on current day players, man. LeBron James, Steph Curry. These cards are going to make you a lot of MT. They're only Sapphires. There's, there's, a, there's a high pop of these cards. 
This is exactly how you're going to make your MT. Steph Curry, LeBron James, Giannis. Think about it, guys. It's a Sapphire card. These cards are not rare. You could definitely scoop up these cards all day for a good price. So definitely keep your eyes on the bit snipes. Keep your eyes like these, all these right now. These are all up for cheap, man. You never know. You could get these cards for half off. If you get this curry for like 2K, if you get this curry for like 8K, you could make 3K MT. So what I've been doing is honestly moderating bids, moderating bid snipes. You do have to know pricing though. Like this Isaiah Thomas for 3100 is most likely a snipe. Um, the only thing is, it's going to be hard to sell him versus other players. Ruby, yeah, that's a snipe. So Isaiah Thomas goes for around 6K, right? I'm going to try to get this card for 3500 and if I do get it, I'm going to make around 2,000 MT. It does take a lot of effort. I'm not going to lie. You do got to know the market. But listen, it adds up. And if you're impatient, this is not for you. It's little by little. It's day freaking what? 5 of 2K? Technically like day 2 of 2K? So we're going to get this Isaiah Thomas for 3,200 MT. We got him for 3,200 MT, right? He goes for 6,300. We are almost doubling our MT. All right. So he goes for 6300 that's a perfect example of why bit sniping right now is honestly really op if you want to make mt right now it's not grinding solos it's grinding the market you got to know how to do it though hopefully that isaiah thomas sells we're going to continuously do this all day you just gotta know pricing one person i would stay away from is lori marketing as of right now you could also run the snipe filter right here oh don't tell me my shit was lagging the whole time you could also run the snipe filter right here, put it to like 25, 2800, whatever you guys want to do. This is also a very good way of sniping. I highly recommend, but yo, I'm grinding. I'm, I'm going to try to get to 150K today. That's my plan. 150K MT, and I'm not touching any of the diamonds. I will not be touching any of the diamonds. My Ruby team is goaded. I enjoy playing with Sapphires and Rubies. Don't ask me why. I just don't like the map. Oh, look at that. Snipe right there. Oh, we're not going to get it. Damn, look at that. So that was a nice little 700 MT snipe after reduction. We got like 600 or 500 MT after reduction. If you get two cards and you make 500 K MT, you make 2K MT per minute. 2K MT per minute is what? In 10 minutes is 20K. That's a lot of MT, guys. It's a lot of MT, guys. 20 times 6, that's 120,000 MT if you get 500 MT profit per minute. So... If you do the math, it really adds up. This is what I've been doing. Ruby, Sapphires, all this good stuff. I've been keeping a cheese squad. I've just been racking up the MT as per usual. And also, I'm not going to lie. You do need money to make money. If you don't have like more than 10K MT, this is going to be hard because then you're going to run out of MT and you're really, it's going to be hard. I got lucky. I found a Steve Nash Amethyst in my collection. I don't even know how. And if you don't believe me, you can check my Twitter. I literally don't even know how. I did pop the 100k packs, but I don't remember pulling Steve Nash. I don't know. But, yo, that's all we got for the vid. Hope you guys enjoy. Just know, also, packs, pack odds are bad. I popped the Colossal packs with 100k uh, VC. Got it for free from my $100 edition. And didn't get anything. So, good luck with that. And um, that's all we got for the video. That's how I made my first 100k MT on this game. Cheesing with Ruby cards. But, yeah, that's all we got for the vid. Hope you guys enjoyed. Have a good one. Peace.